Doomsters and bears are overplaying about the rise in inflation and trying to create a negative buzz about world economic slowdown and a possible recession. So, what is this inflation rise that is happening across the world, including India, and why is it happening? And is it going to peak? If so, when? Are the questions that I am going to answer as I progress in my talk today? First and foremost, we need to see the reasons for the rising inflation. The ongoing rise in inflation is due to increased oil prices. The increase in oil prices is due to reduction in Russian oil consumption by major European Union countries, UK and others. Also, the sanctions imposed on Russia after Russian attack on Ukraine, most particularly the sanctions imposed by USA, UK and uh, European countries and others. The sanctions and the reduction in the consumption of oil by major oil importing European nations and UK have started showing a negative result in Europe as a whole and that led to the inflation trend world across. I would like to quote some examples of oil import reductions that have happened in the case of European countries. Poland has reduced its dependence on Russia from 70% of its oil requirement to 46% as on today. Likewise, Germany from a peak requirement of 38% of its oil consumption to 23% of uh, the current scenario. Netherlands, which used to be abundantly procuring the Russian oil to the extent of almost 154%, has reduced its imports to the tune of 17%. Belgium, from 79% to 14%. UK, from 15% to 2%. These countries not only have reduced their imports, but as a cartel trying to impose a cap on the imports of oil prices henceforth from Russia. The reduced imports from Russia in terms of oil has led to increase in demand of oil from the other oil producing nations giving rise to increase in prices. Similarly, India and China being the largest importers of oil facing the grunt of oil prices. Though there is some respite on the part of India because pre-war we used to source only to the extent of 8% of our oil requirements from Russia but in the recent past we have increased it to 18%. To an extent the sourcing of oil from Russia is playing a level playing uh, field. Uh, with reference to the increased prices from the other oil exporting nations. In fact, rise in oil or energy prices stifles the growth of any economy through its impact on increase in cost of production of manufactured goods, increase in transportation costs, increase in commodities cost, increase in cost of services, and aids to local currencies depreciation. These are some of the negative impacts that rising oil prices cause. So when we try to analyze from the perspective of overall increase in the inflation, the contribution of food prices increase and the contribution of oil prices or energy prices are the main reasons for the overall inflation rise. Now let's first talk about the rise in food prices or commodities prices. The rise in food prices is due to the rise in oil prices. The rise in oil prices is due to the curtailment of supplies from Russia by the leading importers. So the solution in front of the world today is to reduce the inflation. How is it going to happen? It's not going to happen if the doomsters get wings and predict doomsday theories. It's going to happen 
if all the world citizens including economists opinion makers world leaders put their energies together and try to pacify the war zone between russia and ukraine then the crisis is going to deflate and that is going to reduce the ongoing inflation that's the only way we can reduce the current inflation trend that's happening world across including india if the leading nations don't come forward to lobby for calming both the nations that is ukraine and russia for a ceasefire then the world is poised for a new normal of inflation so try to attack the root problem than preaching the doomsday uh, theories that's what i want to propose to reduce the ongoing inflation trend because the whole inflation is caused by the rise in oil or energy prices only nothing beyond that thank you very much